Hey guys, welcome to WebDev Cloud. In this video, we are going to see how to pre-install Apache and PHP on our EC2 instance launch. Which means that our instance will already have Apache and PHP configured when it will be in running state. So let's get started. Here we are in the list of instances which shows no instance is running as of now. So let's launch our first instance. Click on launch instance and will be in the screen of launch an instance so here we can specify any name let's say demo dash instance and then from here let's select the operating system of our instance let's say ubuntu and respective version of our OS let's say 20.04 from this drop down T2 micro is good as long as it is free tier next from the key pair let's select key pair that we had already generated test EC2 keys network setting let's keep as it is apart from this security group that we had previously used which is launch wizard 10 which is having port 22 and port 80 open for every ip so in the bottom the storage looks good now here our purpose is to install apache and php on the launch of our instance so to achieve that we need to explore advanced settings given here click on advanced settings to open the things up scroll at the bottom and here you will find user data user data is basically allows us to specify the command that we would like to execute on the start of our instance so here we need to provide the bunch of commands to install apache and php together so let us jump back to the our code editor and see those commands so here are the commands let's just quickly go through them so this is the common command that we need to execute just before uh, installing anything on our Ubuntu system. So this will update the packages. Uh, the second one will install Apache in our Ubuntu instance. And below that, there is three command uh, in order to install PHP on our EC2 instance. Below that, there is command to uh, start our Apache web server. So this command will lead us to this path slash where slash triple w slash html then we will rename the index.html file which is generated along with apache installation we will rename that file to index-old.html and in the last step we will write one file called index.php with this content the php info function will be used as a content to this index.php file so let's just put all this command into the user data of our ec2 instance just paste it here let's just adjust them okay so now we are good we need one instance for all this configuration let's just click on launch instance so it will take few moments to install let's just filter the instance by the state instance state equals to running so our instance is in initializing mode it will take few seconds to be in up and running state so let's just fast forward this so our instance is ready now let us connect to this instance via ssh and directly connect over here inside the aws console and let's compare the command one by one after entering into the ssh so our first command was this installing apache so the apache should be started 
already inside our instance so let's check the status of our apache instance let me just make it big okay so let's check the status of our apache sudo service apache to status which is already running so now let's just enter into this path and check whether this operation has been performed or not so let's go into this path and do the ls so yes our index file has been renamed to index-old.html and our php file has been placed let's also check the content of our index.php so as we provided the php info content has been written successfully in our index.php file so let us also check our apache web server in the browser so for that let us open the dns provided over here copy that and open into the browser press enter and here we can see our index.php is running successfully so this is how you can install uh, or you can say pre-install anything or everything by providing it into the user data field of our ec2 instance while launching an ec2 instance so this is it uh, for this video we'll see you in the next video till then have a nice time